What's up, people? Welcome back to Reese King's Game Channel. I'm Reese King, as always, and today we are on another The King's Adventures mini. Uh, yeah, so this mini adventure is actually going to be more of a tutorial than a mini adventure, but hey ho, those mini uh, adventures seem to always turn out to be kind of tutorials. Um, right, I have decided I made a big decision. I'm going to spend blooming millions of pounds worth of resources uh, on building an awesome computer. And I'm also going to teach you guys how to do it as well at the same time. Um, yeah, this is going to be awesome. So this thing that I'm going to build, it will be able to auto... Um, auto build stuff and all sorts of stuff it's just it's crazy but I'll explain as we go on and it'll be a little easier to understand the awesomeness of it all now the main three components you need for the first part are the assembler containment wall we're gonna need the pattern provider and we're gonna need the heat vent as well now if we start off with the uh, the containment wall we place that down in this pattern do 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 oh I've already gone wrong <laughs> Right, hang on, hang on. It's not too, too crazy. Right, cool. So you want to place it down in this pattern. Ba, 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 ba. Leaving a 4x4 four four hole in it. You can actually do it where you make it so there's only a, a single hole in it and you just shrink it down by one block in size. But I'm building this one because, well, it'll hold a lot more patterns and it will be a lot more useful and you'll understand about that in a minute so to be honest with you unless you have a real issue getting power in your minecraft this is probably the best one i would advise to start with you can build the bigger they can get ridiculous in size i've seen a couple of like things on the internet people have built massive ones but i'm not sure you need that much storage in life that's that's a little excessive in my opinion this should do nicely right so now you have this sort of shape um it's pretty sort of standard really nice 4x4 four four box pretty tasty now you want to fill up all the outside gaps with the heat vent so bosh 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 bish bash lovely jabbly oh forgot about the bomb nice now you want to get your pattern provider and you fill up the hole inside, so you put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that is loads of patterns that you can make then. And the patterns, basically, I'll show you that in a minute to explain it a little better. But essentially, you make a recipe. Look at that. Oh, I'm just going to do that again so we can see that properly. Um, when you activate it, it does this. Boo! And it becomes a computer. Yeah! Awesome. So that is our basic shell. Basic shell right there. And I've completely lost my way of what I was saying, so I'm going to start freshly fresh fresh. Um, but yeah, so that is that is the essential main thing you need to build, guys. It's really simple, and it's pretty cool. The next thing you're going to need is an ME controller. Now, I've got a power source here because I've got all my hidden wiring that runs through the walls that is powered via ba, 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 three windmills up on a roof. All hidden, nice and nice, keeping all my machinery and now my computer running lovely. So, we pop that there, that's got the power supply attached to it as you can see, uh, that's telling us what we have attached to this system now. Um, next thing you're gonna want is an ME drive. You can see it's like, oh man, I got an ME drive attached to me. Oh, Sam. Right, then you're gonna need these two items which is the crafting terminal boop, and it's also going to want a pattern encoder as well so you stick that there it seems to work quite well I don't think there's any you have to have it in this order apart from the power supply um, these three can you know jig where you want them um, right next we've got I've, I have gone all out here I've made some big big storage units of 64k now they are hard to get hold of but due to the fact that I've got quarry and all those sort of things it, it's not really too much stress getting these materials together although it is a bit of time building them then what you got to do is you plug in your storage be it like you can get like a 1k storage which still holds loads of stuff I just I don't want to have to do this repeatedly so um, anyway so then you pop all your storage bus in there do, 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 do. nice so they're all loaded up you can see them in there I've got all four of those sat there now it means that we can load this computer with stuff and access it really super easy. Um, this terminal here, this is terminal we got in there. I have one diamond sword currently in there, which I put in there earlier when I was testing this build. Um, ooh, 
don't want to write e um, that's cool so now what we need to do is we have I have one pattern that I already made which is for that diamond sword that you've just seen but we'll make a new pattern together just so that you know you guys can see it as well so uh, let's pop that in there nice let's grab some materials let's just build something basic uh, what do we got here not a great deal of useful stuff actually hmm Hmm, I think I've got a better chest upstairs. What's in here? Do, 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 do. What do we need? Oh, some iron. That'll build us something. Yeah, we'll just build a bucket or something. That'll do nicely. Uh, you can do like any kind of sophisticated recipe in here. It's no different to building any normal thing. All you have to do is first of all build one of these, which is an encode pattern. Now, if you want to know how any of these ind individual parts that I'm using are made, just, you know, use your too many items all you've got to do is put into it the uh, the applied science so, uh, oh, god blimey I know what I'm saying I hope you guys can figure it out crikey uh, so the name of the uh, the mod itself which is uh, applied and just X so I just put applied but it will pull up all the things and then it's as simple as just tapping R on whatever you've got so say for instance the access terminal it will then give you the breakdown of all your things and you can hit R again on one of the individual items again and learn how to make that but you can see it's quite a process to make just about any part of this com this computer so I think it'd be like a series explaining how to build each individual part when you've got your too many items don't worry right next I need I could do with some sticks really oh, I've got this entire wood farm over here I suppose I could could use a bit of wood from it. Yeah, it's horrible weather out here. Woo! Let's get in here. How much wood have I got going on? Oh, all the wood. I need to now make this load itself into uh, into the computer as well. I'm going to have to wire all of these houses up to dump all their stuff into the computer. Oh, that does look cool though. Look how cool that is. That's awesome. Right, so now we have a couple of basic things. Let's just quickly... Uh, hmm. Yeah, I can do it in here, can't I? amazing right split those over make those into sticks perfect right so what you're going to do is you've popped your ME pattern in there then say for instance I want to make an iron sword I can then make an iron sword I know I said I was going to make a bucket but an iron sword's better um, and then all you've got to do is encode that and then this drive now has the encoded pattern it requires to make it so then you click on your giant computer and pop the pattern inside boom and then now you can see it can make a diamond sword and it can make an iron sword so to show you how that will work I shall show you now first of all what I need to do is just pop in those items into it and now you'll see that it says on top of the sword I can craft it so if I click on the craft item now I want you can I could build a stack of them but we'll just we only want one so we'll just click oh no crap we just want one then you want to hit begin boop made now we can take that sword out put it in our infantry boom and it's done now you can also get a uh, wireless access to this as well so like when you're just on the move you can access it and auto craft on the move so a lot more of this stuff will be coming up in the series guys um, obviously I'll be talking a lot more about this on Saturday when my normal episode comes up um, but also don't forget on Saturday this Saturday coming uh, if you're watching in the future I apologize but this Saturday coming which is the 6th of uh, December I think it is and uh, yes we will be doing the live stream for 10 hours for charity live stream hopefully trying to raise some money so make sure you guys are there and uh, yeah that's about it guys you got any questions on it don't forget you know you can always leave me some messages down below and ask your questions or you can follow me on various you know Twitter and social stuff basically guys so you can always get a hold of me uh, yeah that pretty much wraps it up I'll catch you next time guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to leave a like and I'll catch you next time bye bye <laughs>